Hey guys, Robert here from Repurpose and Reuse. Today I wanted to show you my newest survival kit. It's a bamboo walking stick, which I hollowed out and put a survival kit in the handle. And I just wanted to unpack it for you, show you what I keep inside. If you've seen any of my other channels, you know I kind of have a thing for survival kits. So sit tight. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, Repurpose and Reuse, where I take commonplace everyday objects that I find scavenged or secondhand and repurpose them into new creations. Thanks, guys. It's a good grove of bamboo here, just kind of edges along the train tracks. Here's a nice plant here that I'm going to harvest and use for my walking stick. All right, so I've let my bamboo dry out for a couple months and now I'm gonna cut it down to my walking stick size. So I'm gonna cut right above a joint. If you cut below the joint, it'll crack and split. And I want it chest high, which for me is about four and a half feet. So I'm gonna sell the other side off to make it just about that height. Again, right below the joint so the wood doesn't split and crack. So there we go, four and a half feet. All right, now I'm gonna take my drill bit. And got my round file. nice and deep if you can see that there goes all the way down to the first segment which is about about nine inches or so and I'm gonna wrap this with paracord put my survival items in here and then put a cork on the top to keep it in place and waterproof so first off on the outside of my walking stick, I've got 550 paracord, which has all types of purposes. You can make a bowstring out of it. To see how to do that, please check out my survival bow videos. Secure shelter, all types of things with paracord, of course. And hollowed out the inside and put a cork in there to contain my survival kit. So if you've seen my other videos, you know I have a thing for Swiss Army knives. And of course I have my corkscrew on there. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what's inside. First off, I've got a compass. goes down about nine inches to the first section here. So rubber band, compass. I've got my sharps in this little baggie. If you 
see there I've got plenty of hooks. Got five smaller fish hooks and three bigger fish hooks. Three swivel hooks within that baggie. I've got two Vaseline soaked cotton balls, which is great for starting fires in this baggie. Three zip ties. Which are good for securing things down. You can make a makeshift tourniquet for a cut finger. All types of purposes there. If you see my other video, you can make an arrow rest for a survival bow. Got some iodine ointment for disinfectant if you have a laceration. Also want to mention the Vaseline soaked cotton is a great bandage as well for stopping bleeds. I've got about a dozen waterproof matches with some striped paper inside. A bobber? A little kit of razor blades has two razor blades. Great for a small spear or arrowhead cutting. And then duct tape, which is great for bandages, all types of purposes, securing rips and clothing, tents, some sewing thread, fishing line on a little spool here. And then a little container full of needles, sewing needle, push pins, nails. Then finally, I have this little container which has some more fishing equipment. So I've got some little spoons for fishing lures, seven safety pins, and some lead sinkers for fishing. So there you go. That's what I keep in my bamboo walking stick survival kit. And I have enough stuff there where I feel comfortable going out on a long trek to the woods. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more of my repurpose and reuse videos, please subscribe to my channel where I take everyday commonplace items that I find either scavenged or secondhand and turn them into new creations. Thanks, guys. Take care.